Neighborhood Slam Master. Uh, I, I was also the 2010 Slam Champion. Yeah. The Slam is a spoken word competition where poets stand up, they compete with three minutes of their own original work, uh, with no props or costumes or music or anything like that. And uh, at the end, they're judged, just like an Olympic competition or something. You know, people argue that performance often wins out over art, but I would argue that something that's really artful and is also performed well would win out over that. Let's do this. Let's put a million pennies on a million railroad tracks and make more lucky pennies than we know what to do with. And let's spend the rest of our lives spending them on us and watching the smoke of our self-made prisons burning behind us. I have no idea what happens next, but happen it will. So let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Austin Poetry Slam! Not all preemptive strikes are in times of war. Like I avert my eyes from squirrels on wires because I know that sometimes we all get burned. On gray days, I use my wipers as a warning to raindrops you'll never get me. Uh, Austin Poetry Slam has been going for about 16, almost 17 years now. Uh, it was founded in 1994 by Whammo, the Sound Street's bankers. A guy named Mike Henry took over. He was running it for about 15 years. And during that time, it really grew into something of an Austin institution. Back in 2003, a friend of mine brought me for the first time, and I was not expecting good things. Uh, you know, I heard about a poetry competition, and I thought it would be, you know, old beat-style poetry. And I came out to the show, and I was blown away. And I immediately latched onto it uh, in my mind as something I could do. I was like, oh, I could do that. So I came the next week and tried and failed horribly. And then came the next week and failed horribly. And came the next week and failed horribly. And uh, kept trying and trying and trying like a little engine that could until I was able to do it. And then after doing it for four years, I finally made the team for the first time. Uh, and this past year I was the champion, which is great. Then when Mike Henry decided to step down, he asked me to take over. And uh, so now I'm running the thing. Nice. Nightmares flooded my mental while I stared at the ceiling. I knew that you were with me. And when I laid on my back, you laid on yours with someone else over. So one of my big goals since I took over has been bringing in art forms outside of poetry in order to add texture to the show. I think a show of flat poetry is a little less entertaining than a show that is poetry interspersed with other amazing things. I'm scratching at the surface of something beautiful. I'm scratching at the surface of something beautiful. I'm scratching back the wax like a gas station stew pulp with an instant wind way out in hand. I'm scratching and I'm finding that everywhere I go, these little pieces of heart and hope. Every person in the world has something important to offer. And when you see a wide variety of voices stand up and express themselves in the things that they believe, um, that's so powerful. I'm a pirate. I'm a pirate that sounds like a poet that proposes what the world composes. Merely tries and shows his emotion and pulls about clouds. And yes, I want to sit on clouds. I want to sit on clouds made of iron. Maybe bring some metal on the fields where castles once stood. And in Austin, there's so many opportunities to go out and get drunk and you go home feeling bad about yourself at the end of the night. But when you go to the slam, you know, maybe you drink a little, but you also have a community, you talk to people and you hear all this amazing work, it really makes you think, and you go home feeling good. 